back to part two, and we're going to be looking once again at the figure, so here we go. Let's start with the robot mode, since this is what we have out here first. Once again, this Prime, I really, really dig this Prime. I'm not a fire truck Prime fan at all, as I've stated before, but this guy really, I like. Though, I have some complaints and some gripes. Mainly, my main gripe is his axe. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. Though, he, it's interesting that this figure is the only Optimus, or act rather, only Autobot in the, in the whole franchise, really, that comes with a gun. As you can see, he comes with a gun. I know it's supposed to be an extinguisher, water, square thing, but come on, we all know what it really is. It's a gun. It's a gun. But besides his, his, ex his axe accessory, and there goes his gun. <laughs> um, this prime, you know, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty great. I mean, his posability is a little whack. I mean, it's. I mean, it's good, but he has these these flimsy shoulder joints. It's, and they like to flop around a lot, so if you don't like that, you may not actually like this figure. But you can get him in classic battle damage poses. Now that it's snaps right back up. But you can get him in classical, really classic, prime like poses like that. Where his hands on his hips and you know, being all heroic and whatnot. Now, all right, I got I got to do this. I got to show you the coolest part of this figure. All right, you see his face, right, and how accurate it looks and whatnot. It is actually very accurate to once again the movie and to the uh, show and the fact that if we turn his head like so. I'm make sure he's yeah he's still in sh he's still in the shot. We just go bam, voila. We've got old school prime, and that's what I really like about this figure. Is that they really they really did a nice job appealing to all fans of Transformers, whether you were a fan of R.I.D. or uh, the GoBots. And if you don't know what the go what uh, what the GoBots are, that's the uh, Unicron trilogy. That's that's what I call it, anyways. I probably explained this one too many times, but anyways, as we continue, G1 the movie and whatnot. The fact that he can be a fire truck, he can have a faceplate, he can not have a faceplate, he can you know be able to interchange between the two of them. That's what I really like about this figure is is that. And for robot mode, I have to give him a full 10 points. Now, playability, and I touched a little bit on this, on the playability with his joints. His joints are a little wonky, so it makes it really hard sometimes to make, get him into good poses. But nine times out of ten, you can get him into a pose that you really you really like or you really want. So really, his playability is about a nine point five. It's it's really nice. Now once again, nostalgia. Once again, ten. This is a ten pointer here because this guy really just really blows me away with how many actual primes. And bits and pieces of Optimus Primes from different sh uh, continuities and different shows, they really throw into this guy right here. And I'm just astonished by it. And ultimately, I think this is, this is the best Prime, I do think. Just for the fact that it incorporates every Prime into it, and yet it works. It works really, really well for
for this figure. Alright, anyways, um, I'm going to just stop this video right here, right now, and I'm going to, you know, come back here really shortly with the transformed version and talk about transformation and all that crap. So, see you in a sec. Alright, we're back with transformation in vehicle mode. Now, the transformation is a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy it. And it's way easier than his deluxe uh, Cybertronian version of himself. I mean, he's got some spinning parts on his, in his hip that you have to kind of finagle into uh, rotating and whatnot. And it's 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 if you haven't seen this toy, go go look at like Peon or um, you know Shanlong or some someone like that that would show you. It's just it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. But, um, in any case, I would have to give it a 10 for its ease, its fun factor, just overall, it's just a good transformation, it was a good, it was a good design. Now, vehicle mode, I like this vehicle mode and at the same time, I don't like it. Why I don't like it? I'm going to start off there first. Well, I don't like it because we don't get a trailer. We haven't had a Prime with a trailer for a while now, and I kind of miss the old trailer. And yeah, I know we in the GoBots we had lots of trailers that turned into battle stations or upgrades to into super ultimate ultra condom Prime or whatever the hell vibrator Prime or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, but it would be nice to have a to have a trailer. Though we do get this nice little trailer-ish backpack, which you can just take off and look, guys, it's the axe. Yeah. So you can have him looking like that, and I just think he looks kind of puny and whatnot. So I usually just leave the I usually leave his pack on, but I'm going to. Um, not put it back on because I'm just being a lazy son of a bitch. Anyways. But yeah, he rolled really, really well. I really like the way he rolls. I also love the way that front looks. It just screams G1 Prime. As well as some other Primes I'm not going to mention. But I mean, it just uh, like, well, oh, alright, R.I.D. Prime and some of the GoBot Primes, but he just looked phenomenal. I love the fact, the, the stylized look of these animated figures, because they translated so, so well into toy, which no one thought was going to happen. We all thought that we were going to get toys we couldn't transform, or we would get, you know, we would get one... Optimus Prime, and then we'd have to go out and buy the vehicle Optimus Prime, and you know, imagine the transformation. But you know what? I have to hand it to Hasbro. They did a phenomenal job of capturing these guys. Their what they what they look like to a pretty much to a fault, and keep it all in toy form. I I just. I can't believe that they were able to do that. So, anyways, that's about all I can really say about this figure. For vehicle, I give it another 10. This is a definite buy, I think. And I, I really hope that you guys will go out and try to find this figure because it's a good one. Anyways, stay tuned to this channel because there's going to be more figures, more reviews of some kind coming. Hey!